was just about the greatest shot that ever lived, it was Wild Bill Hickok. The frontier used to ring with the name of Wild Bill and of his famous horse, Black Nell. Now, Bill was just 18 when he made up his mind he was going west. With a bundle of clothes under one arm and his rifle and hunting knife under the other, Bill walked all the way from his home in Illinois to St. Louis, every bit of 300 miles. Right after Bill got into town, he was sitting in his hotel lobby, watching all the strange faces, when suddenly he heard two men quarreling. Their voices got louder and louder. Bill turned around just in time to see one of the men draw his revolver and pointed at the other. Quick as a flash, Bill drew his own gun. Bill's shot knocked the gun right out of that fellow's hand without even scratching him. The whole place was in an uproar. There were very few men in the whole West who could shoot like that. Well, Bill could have had any job he wanted in town after that. But he was determined to go further West. He moved on out to Kansas. And it wasn't long before he got himself a job driving a stagecoach. And that wasn't all. He found himself elected sheriff as well. Then one day, Bill heard a lot of noise outside his office. It was a big wagon train headed for the Santa Fe Trail. But they were in trouble. One of their drivers had been hurt, and they had to have another man before they could move on. Nobody wanted to sign up for a dangerous trip like the Santa Fe Trail. So the wagon boss went to Bill. Sure, he'd help them out, he said. But first, he'd have to find someone to take his place. As soon as this was done, Bill hurried to the wagon train. It was an exciting moment. The drivers all took their places. The scouts lined up in front. The guards rode alongside the wagons. Then the drivers cracked their whips. And the wagon train was on its way. As the days went by, the men grew more and more cautious. Nobody knew when the Indians might attack. Then as the wagon train neared Pawnee Rock, there was wild excitement. From out of nowhere pounced a band of yelling Comanches. They came rushing from every side. The men swung the wagons into a big circle and the battle was on. The Indian arrows whizzed through the air and quick came answering rifle fire. For more than three hours they battled. The Comanches kept coming back each time they were driven off. But finally, at sunset, they gathered up their wounded and fled. That was Bill Hickok's first battle with the Indians, but he won everybody's admiration with his fine shooting. Bill could ride the Santa Fe Trail any time he wanted. 